Hey everyone, I'm Ari Olin. We're back to another episode of Ari Olin's Heart Rate Gaming. We're back to Fallout 4. And, um, so I want to show you guys, I finally got the fiberglass and stuff to do the bobblehead stand. So I thought I'd go ahead and show you guys that before we continue on. I'm going to slap my perception and repair bobblehead on there because those are the only two I've got right now. And haha, -ha, don't they look cool? So that's kind of cool, kind of a neat thing that you could do. Codsworth! In my face. Alright, so um, so we helped out the settlers in the last episode, and we've also we've, we've helped out a little bit here. Um, so I think, I think I'm going to go get... Preston Jarvie to take with me and then I'm gonna gear him up a little bit and then we shall head towards Diamond City because that's our next step it's that or Sunshine Tidings and well I think we're gonna go ahead and head towards Diamond City so let me find Preston and then we'll get going um all right hey and I'm waking you out wake up is there something you need yes I need you to to come with me. How are you feeling? I'm glad to have the chance to return the favor. After all the help you gave me. Just let me know if there's anything else you need. Oh. Come with me. I need your help. Sure thing, General. I think the folks here can manage on their own now. Thanks to you. Mr. Garvey, I'm sure you will take good care of my mistress. Good day to you both. Take care, Codsworth. Okay. We'll come back and boost Codsworth's affections another time. So let me just see real quick if I've got anything better this time. I hear a lot of talk about the railroad, helping free cents and all that. They don't sound hey. too bad. The railroad doesn't sound too Hi. bad. Need something? Yep. Um. How are you feeling about things? Never a dull moment. Are things all right between us? I'll be honest. I'm still trying to figure you out, but I haven't given up on you, if that's what you're asking. Oh, nothing. Okay. Hey, wait. Hey. Trade I'm listening. Stuff. Okay, trade stuff. All right. Uh, okay. You need chest piece, left arm, right leg, left leg, right leg. Okay. And then we have to tell him to equip it because he's too stupid to put it on on his own. Whoa! I didn't tell you to get naked, Preston! Good grief. Oh, that doesn't... That, oh. Oh, I didn't give you any undergarments. <laughs> yes, you run around like that, my friend. <laughs> no, we're, let's, let's get him something else to wear. <laughs> uh, okay, wait, no, that was... Uh, we need... No. Uh, I don't know if you could wear that underneath. Where did all those? Okay, here we go. Road leathers. He can. He can wear road leathers underneath. Yes. Hey. Hey. You want to swap supplies? Yes. No problem. I'm gonna give you a little more clothing. <laughs> uh, you don't want to put it on? Okay, let me help you. There you go. Now you're presentable. There. Much better. Okay, so now we're going to be heading south. Um, we're going to head south to Diamond City. Woohoo! Off we go. Oh yeah, these things. The, they're Pulaski Preservation Services. Preservation About Shelters. Nuclear protection on a budget. Nuclear protection on a budget. Which means that you get to hop into these tiny individual pods and hope you can survive the nuclear fallout in a pod. Is that what I think it is? So we just picked up a military frequency. Turn it on. Automated message repeating. This 
is Scribe Halen of Reconnaissance Squad Gladius to any unit in transmission range. Authorization ARCS, Pharaoh 95. Our unit has sustained casualties, and we're running low on supplies. We're requesting support or evac from our position at Cambridge Police Station. So they're at the police station, and you can see Automated that message repeated. little star badge. That's the police station. This is Scribe Halen of Reconnaissance. So we're basically Gladys, headed that direction, so range. I guess we'll stop and help these people. Hit. Is it broken? Yeah, it is, Preston. It hurts. I broke it. Um. Oh, I guess. I guess you can't. Eh, I feel better now. Needle in my belly. Ugh. Oh, I'm here now. Opening fire. Shark. Oh man, those bully ghouls, they're so dodgy. Okay, so let's let's go help these people. Oh, there's so many. Oh hi. Hi there. Die. Oh, there's so many. Salt. It says danger. Where's the danger? Nothing's coming. Hey, hi, how's it going? You could hold this place against an army. There's raiders and ghouls. We'll just, uh... Hey, Preston! I hate that your companions are, like, incapable of avoiding those traps. I hear lots of shooting. It's coming from up here somewhere. Just gonna loot their stuff real quick while we're making our way through. Got it. Ooh, cushioned, hardened raider leg, light weight, gilded chest piece. Oh, what is that? Oh, we gotta check that out. Said something about a sniper. Maximum capacity hair trigger pipe sniper rifle. <laughs> That's a mouthful! Okay, but I like it. Yes! Okay. Um, and then we also found some new apparel. 5.3 for right leg. Uh, Alright, that's okay. Um, left arm. 4, 4, and 5 for left arm. And it's only a pound more. Uh, 6 and 4, 5.1. What do you... You need. Okay. Uh, coming. Must be. Oh, 
schedule. Spike armor. Something down below. I'm not sure where it went. I hear a lot of shooting in this general direction, though. It's kind of hoping they just kill each other. Alright, I guess let's go see where they're at. Hey. We appreciate the assistance, civilian. But what's your business here? Uh-huh. Uh... Pest exterminator. I heard you had a feral problem. Evading my questions is a surefire way of getting yourself ejected from the compound. <laughs> Are you from a local settlement? He's not very thankful. Okay, let's, uh... Yeah. I'm from Vault 111. You're a vault dweller? Most people wouldn't admit to such a thing. I appreciate your honesty. If I appear suspicious, it's because our mission here has been difficult. Since the moment we arrived in the Commonwealth, we've been constantly under fire. If you want to continue pitching in, we could use an extra gun on our side. I want to help, but I don't like the secrecy. Who are you really? Seems more than reasonable, if you really want our help. Very well. I'm Paladin Dance, Brotherhood of Steel. Over there is Scribe Halen and Knight Reese. We're on recon duty, but I'm down a man and our supplies are running low. I've been trying to send a distress call to my superiors, but the signal's too weak to reach them. Sir, if I may... Proceed, Halen. I've modified the radio tower on the roof of the police station, but I'm afraid it just isn't enough. What we need is something that will boost the signal. Our target is ArcJet Systems, and it contains the technology we need. The Deep Range Transmitter. We infiltrate the facility, secure the transmitter, and bring it back here. So what do you say? You willing to lend the Brotherhood of Steel a hand? Hmm, the Brotherhood of Steel. Who are the Brotherhood of Steel? Our order seeks to understand the nature of technology. Its power. Its meaning to us as humans. And we fight to secure that power from those who would abuse it. Really? You just mean from everyone? How did mankind abuse technology? Before the Great War, science and technology became more of a burden than a benefit. The atom bomb, bioengineered plagues, and FEV are clear examples of the horrors that technological advancement had wrought. We're here to make sure that never happens again. This is just a fancy way of saying that you're looting everything you can get your hands on. Looting implies that we're attempting to benefit ourselves. That couldn't be further from the truth. So, what do you say? Will you help us? Ah, oh, well, you know, you're in a tight spot and you need some help. I guess so. No time to waste. Let's get moving. Outstanding. Let me stop pointing my gun at you. Because, you know, everyone in this game seems I guess to they like aren't to gonna do need that. that anymore. Halen, take Reese inside and bind his wounds. Yes, sir. Reese. Once you're on your feet, I want you to make certain the perimeter is secure. I'm on it. All right, civilian. It's time to prove your worth. Head into the police station and resupply yourself. All then right. Let me know when you're ready to begin. 
Let's move out, people. All right, big guy. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. Yay, another level up. Alright. Here we go. Resupply ourselves, they say. It's like no matter where you try to go in this place, there's some quest or something that will sidetrack you. Like you can't you can never like just set a destination and be like, that's where I'm going, because it's not going to happen. All right. Recon Squad Gladius orders. Current orders are as follows. Proceed to the area designated as the Commonwealth to perform a standard long-range recon operation. Report any unusual activity using standard long-range communications to scabbard. Extraction time undetermined. Paladin dance. Paladin dance personal logs. After several months, my squad has just crossed the border, entering the Commonwealth. We've chosen to immediately search the Boston region with the intention of finding a s and secure building to use as our recon headquarters. Soon after, my squad was ambushed by raiders. Night King's power armor was destroyed and we lost some of our supplies. Fortunately, we were able to repair all the attack and continue our mission. We discovered a secure building in Cambridge and came that appears to be a former police station. We were able to clear the building and recover a good deal of supplies and ammunition for pre-war caches inside. According to Scribe Palin, this location is structurally sound and highly defensible. I'll, I've probably decided to establish our headquarters here for the time being. After Halen identified the Poor Vega factory in Lexington as a possible site containing viable pre-war technology, we initiated a sweep and retrieve operation. I had Dawes do a site survey, and he discovered it was being held by a large force of razors. I gave it to go ahead, and we attempted to breach. Which we know, that place was hugely infested with raiders, like a stronghold. As we approached, our squad was hit with gunfire. Knight Warwick was wounded, so I decided to fall back to Cambridge. During our retreat, Knight Brock stepped on a landmine. Scribe Halen attempted to treat him, but Brock succumbed to his wounds and died. Let it be noted for the record that Halen is to be commended for her efforts. It's been two days since our failed operation at Corvega, and I'm sad to report that Knight Warwick has died. His gunshot wounds had left him paralyzed and internally bleeding. Scribe Halen informed me that he was suffering and had less than 5% chance of recovery. I authorized her to inject him with an overdose of painkiller and put him to rest. I'd once again like to commend Scribe Halen for her efforts in keeping Warwick alive and for following my final orders without question. We sustained another casualty today at Grid Reference A113. This area contains the ruins of Boston International Airport and Fort Strong. The airport was almost completely abandoned, but Fort Strong turned out to be infested by super mutants. We were hoping to resupply the armory there, but Knight Sergeant Dawes was killed. This is the second location I've had to order a retreat from since our, we arrived, and the third member of my team to die. I recommend a complete bombardment of this location in the future. Scribe Halen has been picking up unusual energy readings on her instruments. She claims that they are on an extreme high band spectrum frequency, which makes it highly unlikely to be pre-war in origin. The readings are also highly sporadic, only appearing for very short amounts of time and in very specific locations. The decay on these signals is severe, and they seem to disappear off Halen's instruments after several hours. We don't have equipment necessary to track these readings, so we're attempting to use triangulation to discover their point of origin. We've been attempting to contact Scabbard with the energy reading Halen has collected, but the police station's high gain antenna was damaged by a super mutant rocket attack, and we can't trace with the data. Halen is attempting to repair the antenna, but she is certain that we have the parts we need at this time. Um, and then it's just the squad status, which we just read, so we're not gonna mess with that. You don't need those supplies, do you? No, he's just gonna bleed out anyway, right? Oh, here we go. Scribe Halen's personal logs. Field Scribe Halen, personal log entry, 324A. Me up or what? I don't know. I'm starting God to wonder if joining around. the Brotherhood of Steel was a good choice. I originally signed up seeking protection and comradeship, but I'm worried that I've traded away a bit of my humanity in the process. The Brotherhood's message of hope for the future is idealistic and noble, but their methods leave a lot to be desired. Yep. The leadership seems especially misguided. Instead of diplomacy, they wield violent confrontation to exert control. Yep. Despite all that, I've been successfully avoiding the fighting by following the career path of a field scribe. 
I suppose only time will tell how long I can stand the sight of spilled blood over my own moral fiber. So, Scribe Halen kind of questions some of the, the Brotherhood's actions and behaviors, which, I mean, if you guys play any of the other ones, you'll see that from time to time, some of the stuff they do is kind of questionable. It's like, they seem like they're good, or they want to be good, and then... And then yes. all of a sudden, they'll do something really drastic or strange, like just super aggressive, and and then it makes you question what they really are after. Okay, so I'm gonna finish looting this uh, place, um, and then we'll talk to Dan and see what he wants from us. Oh, there's another hollow tape here. Operation Winter's End. Hello, team. Captain Widmark here. Welcome to the task force. Operation Winter's End starts now with you. Together, we will knock Eddie Winter off his throne and dump his sorry ass in a 2,000 volt easy chair. It should come as a surprise to no one that our operations in Boston have been, in a word, compromised. Winter has eyes everywhere even the BPD. So, our brothers across the river in Cambridge have been kind enough to let us use the Cambridge Police Department as our base of operations. Let's get to work. Good hunting. I believe we find more information about that operation throughout the Fallout world, and I really love finding all those little stories that they make up as they go. Uh, like all the pre-war stories that people take the time to write and stuff, I always find them really interesting. Sweet. Oh, okay. Hallbrook's edition logs. Evidence. Blah de blah de blah. Pamphlet transferred. Adam's public intoxication logs. <laughs> One set of clothes. Abandoned at scene. <laughs> Winter holotape logs. Map updated. Holotape 00 return to Agent Mitchell, Boston. BADTFL. Holotape 2 mailed to Sergeant Sulbach in Malden PD. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and talk to Dance and get our objective. Paladin. You ready to move out? Why well, establish an outpost at the police station? Given the nature of the facility, we felt it would be tactically advantageous to search it for weapons and ammunition. The radio tower on the roof was an unexpected boon, but it obviously has its shortcomings that need to be rectified. It might not be as imposing as the Citadel back in the Capital Wasteland, but it suits our purposes. That's all I'm willing to divulge at this point. Are you ready to proceed with the mission? Yes. Man, they get a lot of good voice actors in this game. Ready. Outstanding. Follow me, and try not to lag behind. Oh. <laughs> He's showing off a little dance. Okay. Well, we're going to wrap this episode up right here, and in the next episode, we're going to follow Dance out and see what he needs help with and continue on with this. And hopefully, eventually, we will get to Diamond City. So if you're enjoying, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. See ya!